Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Melanie and Gemini, Mystic Tarot. What y'all got going on? I thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, your subscribes. Um, I'm letting y'all know beforehand, get your stuff ready, get your stuff ready. If you trying to advertise something online, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm making arrangements to go to the post office to get, um, you know, a P.O. box. So y'all let me know what the fuck going on. Um, I thank y'all for y'all donations. I really do because, you know, making it work, making it happen. Like, I really love to do this. And I know if I really love to do something and I step out on faith to do it, this is what it is. God called me to do this and I'm going to do it. Um, another thing that I want to say is when it comes down to, uh, the messages of the day, someone feels trapped or they feel like they're not making the right decisions or they feel as if like, dang, like, well, am I supposed to do this? Or like someone feels like they having second thoughts or whatever. And, you know, or someone feels like they're not doing enough or, they feel like, you know, like it's like us, you know how some people bad talk they sell for something like that. But I just feel like y'all, y'all doing right. You're on the right path. So don't lead too far from it. You know what I'm saying? You're not because if you are a high vibe and you know what you need to do and or you are a new coming, like when a new coming subscriber, you going to come on this page feeling torn and then come off this page every day. You're going to feel better every day and i feel like some people go through shit and they don't go to nobody and can't go to nobody because there's always some snake ass back door ass shit you know what's going on but anyway let's get into these messages thank you guys spirit god and archangels i will be on live by two o'clock thank you guys spirit god and archangels for the messages and the ancestors give me a message for my collective and it's something to do with health health lack of sleep fighting and then I get something about your husband. Something about your husband. Um, somebody, something about catfish. This you didn't okay. When you got with this person, it was straight. Or when you got with them, they weren't exactly what you thought they were gonna be. But then, like in the beginning, they showed you this person, and then after that, like it just seemed like it was different. Like, they got you, so that's it. Like, catfish got you. Now you're going to have to deal with me type of energy. Gotcha. Gotcha, sight. And then it's um somebody, husband, trying to play, doing something. Somebody expanding or is leaving. Someone need to pop their shit. Someone not feeling it. Somebody not feeling a situation with their husband, their lover. Take it as it fucking resonates. Someone feels like there is an agenda. Um, someone wants to end communication. Damn. All these cards. In communication. Something about someone being materialistic. And then I get something about um, less than. Someone is making you feel less than. Like you're not working hard enough. Somebody is out of alignment. There's something about angels. Your angels are expanding your mindset and keeping you away from things that serve no purpose or, or protecting you. Somebody is slow as fuck. Pop your shit. Something about off balance. Somebody feels off balance or your husband is off balance. He has a hidden agenda. And then it says unexpected. It's something that you you not feeling. You ain't feeling it. Like something that you not feeling, and it's going. It's it's not expected, but it's something unexpected that's coming towards you, having to do with a hidden agenda with someone being off balance, and this may be a lover, or a friendship, or a family. He said, she said, motherfucker coming to you off of. He said, she said, some about stay hopeful. Again, somebody that's popping their shit is out of alignment because people, it's just all these negative entities. People need to cut ties. The ones that's popping your shit on high energy, high vibes and shit, you need to cut ties with these slaw motherfuckers. 
You know, because it's they always doing unexpected stuff or unexpected stuff always happen with these people. And then I'm getting a tower moment. Okay, y'all, I am not playing with y'all. Like, it's unexpected shit. I'm telling y'all, this person um that's doing less than the others or, you know, always telling everybody they need to do this, this, and this, but they're doing less than, they finna have a tower moment. Thank you, God Spirit. Something about a crazy situation. Stay hopeful. God, spirit, God, archangels, and your ancestors are protecting you from a crazy situation, from a slow as fuck person. And then I get a plot. This mother, boy, y'all, this person is slow as hell. This person that's slow as hell is trying to plot on you. And then it says, release. Somebody is off balance, is being released. And somebody that has a hidden agenda, they being released. And this is helpful. You need this. You need to be from around people that's always trying to plot bad dough. You know what I'm saying? Who does stuff like that? He, 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 get it or not. You know what I'm saying? Stay hopeful. Get it or not. He said, she said, get it or not. But just know that you don't need to be around these people. And it says obsessed. The person that's staying hopeful, like it, it makes me feel like they staying hopeful about a relationship where somebody fucked them over or staying hopeful in a relationship where they fuck somebody over, over it wants to stay hopeful that this person will come back after a while or after a relationship is over or after a business partnership is over. Um, some about somebody cutting ties because of a plot it can even be a family member it can even be um it can even be um like close friends you call family public recognition someone that's in the public eye then i'm getting sneaky motherfucker it's gonna have a tower moment or creating tower moments for their self closet freak this obsessed closet freak is plotting or um is trying to get that shit back in blood somebody wants to release and apologize to bring closure to something somebody wants to apologize but somebody wants them to stop calling search okay an unexpected search something about an unexpected search something about be creative get it or not be creative anger problems this obsessed person has anger problems something about i can't deal somebody cannot deal with with someone in the public eye or somebody can't deal that they being happy with somebody else they trying to search this person online they trying to figure out about the person that they probably dealing with this is probably an ex-lover where you broke up with them, you cut ties with them, and they felt like, oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Damn, like, no, how about this? They cut ties with you. They left you, even though you know you were been supposed to leave them. You moved accordingly. You took that as God's message to move on. However, I feel with this energy that this person sees you happy, see you with somebody else, the word done got out. That you got somebody else to drove by your house or something like that. Have people drive by your house. Have people drive by where you be at and saw something and relayed the message. Now this motherfucker mad. They feel like you took they blessing like Beyonce. She gonna be rocking chill chill clothes if I let you go. She gonna have everything I own if I let you go. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just how I feel. I'm getting chills when I talk about that. This sneaky motherfucker need a health risk. They bipolar. They mentally need to figure, you know, get a checkup. Read the reward. This prop, this anger, this prop, this this person with an anger problem feels they should read the reward of somebody else. Somebody can't deal with an anger problem. And it's somebody that has does, does scams or scam alert. Like I see a piece of dust or something right here in the corner of my eye. And then I get nat nat nasty ass trick. This nasty ass dude, whatever. 
female. Take it as it resonates. Let's get into some of my other cards. Let's see what's going on. Let me get some more messages. And once I get into these messages right here, then we're going to get into the tarot. Let's see. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages for my collectives. It says memory loss. Somebody's having memory loss. Or it's like they apologize and like they don't realize everything they done did. So they think they can come, you know what I'm saying, come in with an apology. Something about a best friend, stop calling. Something about somebody asked out, set up, distant lover, snitch. Somebody told about a distant lover or somebody that you were talking to and they traveled towards you. Venting partner. So a venting partner is snitching. So someone that you go and you talk to, she do not or he do not keep y'all conversations confidential. So it just make it, it just allows me to know that nothing you say to your best friend is safe. They're going to feel some type of way anyway because they already jealous of you. Sex for pay. This person, your best friend, has does sex for pay. Or this person does sex for pay. Be honest. It can even be a male gigolo too. This snitch is being honest about somebody doing sex for pay. Then I'm getting earth sign, earth sign. Okay, Gemini, this earth sign doing sex for pay or this venting partner is snitching, you know what I'm saying, to a best friend and it's going to get back to you. It's something about being being blessed beyond words. So um, this person that either was doing sex for pay or people thought that they were doing sex for pay because they were trying to figure out how they were making their money. They're going to get even more blessed because they're not worried about what other people say. And here are the messages for Gemini's getting the inner breaking the internet. It takes off. It's takeoff season. You got this. God said it. This came out again. You'll never know your worth until um you leave something. And they show you who they are. And then it says, setting boundaries, accepting the truth, moving forward, knowing the truth, making moves towards the truth, something coming in hot. Y'all, look, stop being focused on these nothing-ass people. Stop being focused on these nothing-ass people. These people don't want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? You so misunderstood by people that don't even have a like mind. Right on time, y'all. God wanted to isolate you and separate you from people. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't have the same like mind. It was fake. You know what I'm saying? We need to watch. You need to watch the people around you. Best friends. And some of y'all may not have just that many people around you. But you can point out who is who and what is what. Because you don't fuck with too many people. And you, don't, and you keep your business private. And then I'm getting you on the right journey so if you're feeling that you are not on the right journey or you having second thoughts or some shit like that don't because you're not like really you're on the right path god is going to protect you and put you in way better situations you could not thrive where you were at because people were around you trying to stop your money talk stop your success stop your love they didn't want you to be happy because they not happy period period compete somebody competing with you stay strong somebody trying to compete with you they can't like when someone trying to compete with you they got to be like you in order to overpass you and over the top you that's what i be thinking and then I'm getting still a liar. Whoever this person that you're talking to, whoever this person that you're feeling bad for, whoever this person that you feel that, oh, even though things didn't go, go you know, right with us or whatever, I can still have them as a friend. No, you cannot. Because they're going to always have in their mind, yeah, they took me back. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, even though we're not together, I still get to be in his energy. They can still sabotage. They can, you know what I'm saying? If God does not want you around this person, stop making plans to be around someone that God took you away from and put you with someone else. And, or God took you away from a situation, took you away from people in your family or friendships. And then you still find time to call them here and there to see how they're doing. If a person has showed you that they will fuck you over and have showed you repeatedly, why have conversations with people that feel they still got you in their grasp? They feel they can use you. They feel like they can take advantage. They feel like, oh, I'm their friend now. I mean, you know, we're not relationship. He going to fuck up or she going to fuck up. I know what they like. Da, 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 da. They going to give in. Like y'all don't understand people that you break up with. They want you to give in so that they can say something misunderstood. It's something about a misunderstood person. And then it says no soda drink tea. So I know I I, I broke down. I, I had me a soda yesterday. And boy, was that shit good. That crushed orange. Hearsay. Somebody lost about hearsay or somebody talking shit or however. And it says something about somebody sacrifice. Somebody is sacrificing for better health. Sacrificing to be healthier. Then it says. I go to mailman, y'all. Somebody getting something in the mail. Your prayers are being answered. Okay. Gifts from God. And then I'm getting plot. Somebody's trying to plot on you what God gives you, but it ain't going to work. It says, keep busy. Keep yourself busy. Keep yourself going. Don't worry about what other people doing because it really don't matter. Because what, whatever God has for you is for you. Know your role. Know what you're supposed to be doing. And it says, not, not forget, do not forget. Don't forget how a person moved around you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to keep having this person around you because all this and all that. But that's what a negative entity wants you to fucking believe. Childbirth. Something about children, something about like, you know, you know, there's a soft spot for children. However, if you have to take a break from somebody or whatever, and let's say that person um, that, that broke you and you separated from them and they become unbroken, you may not even be around them kids because she don't want you around them. Like real talk. I'm telling y'all what the cards are saying and what's coming from the higher up. Something about abundance too. Something about someone's getting money for children or this, these tax credits may come in. We um, be mindful of other people's problems. Be mindful of other people's problems because that'll suck you in. Something about a cycle being over and there's truth to this cycle being over. And there's truth to being mindful of other people's problems because they're going to suck you in and make you feel like they the person that was wrong, but they was a the person that was wrong. And it says pull over, pulled over. Somebody's getting pulled over. Some brand new. Somebody is moving towards something brand new. Or somebody pulled over or um, something like that. What about this pulled over? Give me something. Well known. Somebody well known is being pulled over. You got spirit got not sure. Spell broken. Okay. The person that was around here doing spell work is getting pulled over. No one doing it. And she thinks that someone did this or call, investigate. No one is going to investigate nothing no more. Something about there was an investigation going on, but there's not going to be an investigation no more because they seeing what weird ass shit is going on. It's going to be a surprise. Survive, surprise investigation or the investigation or someone that does surprise pop-up meetings or visits or something they're not going to come because they seen what's going on with their case and they feel like it's a waste of fucking time and then they know that if someone was to get a lawyer and to sue whoever they lose you can't control everything let go so y'all you cannot control everything about a person but you can change the story ignore calls somebody is ignoring calls i'm getting drama field 
So somebody's ignoring someone that is always drama filled. Then I'm getting stop and go. Someone's tired of this stop and go drama filled situation. And they just rather, you know what I'm saying? Be in a situation where they can control the outcome and trying to figure out how the outcome is going to be controlled. You feel me? Okay. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels and Ancestors for the messages for my collective. Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels for the messages for my collective. Y'all, what's going on today? Thank you, God, Spirit, God, and Archangels. Someone ain't trying to do something. Someone ain't trying to, I don't know, let go. Someone ain't trying to blend or, okay, someone is still staying up at night. Nine of Swords energy, hurting, upset, because some is telling me someone fucked you over. And like being that you got your mind off that and started focusing on the things that really meant something. They all in their motherfucking head. Or somebody up at night crying because someone keeps doing weird shit. Emperor. This emperor is keeping this woman up at night and doing whatever he want to do. Doing whatever he wants to do and forgetting about other people's feelings. And a page. Okay. This woman is up at night because this emperor is messing with a younger person. They may be outgoing. They may have this. They may have that. You know, and it's making you feel some type of way. And then I get the seven of swords. Someone is thinking about somebody took something. Someone is deceitful. She's crying over somebody being deceitful but she knew about it like she's upset but either or this could be the person that you're dealing with the one message that i'm getting at she's upset because what she did she's paying for and she's paying for losing somebody and this is going to teach them a lesson you cannot do deceitful things to people and accept for that shit you know what i'm saying not to come back on you and then it says the world the world, I'm getting the world, y'all. The world. Someone thought they had the world. This person that's crying sees this person as they world. But you just don't know. They had other people around them. Maybe a possible four people. And they were never, they don't know where to stand. Someone don't know where to stand in this situation. Five of Swords, people leaving, turning away, and not caring. Something is changing. The people around you are changing. And then I'm getting then I'm getting the six of pentacles. Someone is staying up at night. Someone feels like they messed up with someone. Their finances are messing up. You know what I'm saying? Like someone feels wronged or, or someone feels like they weren't chosen or somebody feels rejected. This is giving somebody writer's block. Somebody is working on their money, but it seems like another person is so focused on what this person did to them. It's stopping their creative blocks. And I feel like, y'all, this is what negative entities want you to do. They want you to be in this energy of not moving. They want you to feel bound and in bondage. Queen of Swords is being very defensive, which is us. A queen, a Gemini queen. She around here turning not even caring if people turn away because she know they did her motherfucking wrong and this queen of swords see that she was cheated on and or a gemin a queen or a gemini is old money a, 
a queen is owed money from either two or three people or was taken advantage of by two or three people. But y'all, I'm going to leave this reading right here. I am going to get on live. Oh my goodness, y'all. Somebody was trying to take advantage while there's another person that wasn't. And something body is getting a wish fulfillment with a person that they took a um leap out of faith on. And now this person went from the eight of pentacles to the king of pentacles since they changed they, you know, their mindset and took this person about their life. Now they're getting this energy. Now they're getting recognition, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Someone is saying everything's okay, but shit ain't really all okay. However, the person that's saying that everything's okay, but it's not, and they hurt because they cheated someone out of love and they cheated themselves out of love, this person is getting love because they were cheated out of it. But y'all tell me what's going on.